Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits. We want to apologise. I couldn't, for the effing life of me, work out how to get the setting. <laughs> my fault. My fault. Sorry. Yeah, I hate my voice. And uh, I couldn't work out how to get it to show up on the screen. And I've got no I've got no um thumbnail. There we go, I'm back in there. But right, I'll just put the comments on the big screen so I can actually see who's commenting, even though I'm all pissed. But there you go. <laughs> and uh, your feed's looking really good tonight. Jesus. That's it, that's better. Right. So for those people in the background, um, welcome to no Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Review. This is from Pohala, their Seller Series. And uh, obviously this was gifted to me by the very good person sitting at the side of me. And, you know, it, um, it really, Imperial Red Card, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying not to get a red card. I'm off steaming though. So, <laughs> did I get lost? No, I couldn't work out how to step. I, I wanted to in, invite Craig on and I couldn't work out how to do it. And I've, I've worked it out now, but subtly. <clears throat> so, on the back it says PEM OPX, OOPX. And it says a Pedro Zimenez. Sherry barrel aged imperial style. I will read the rest. I'll get the magnifying glass back and get out. So, an imperial style brewed for the darkest night of the year. Uh, maybe not tonight, but hey, yeah, sort of mate. Aged in Pedro Zimenez sherry barrels. And then it's uh, served at 12 to 16 degrees centigrade. So, perfect to serving temperature. This is 13.9%. <laughs> The elephant will be the only thing that raggy bangs tonight after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Don't forget, I've, um, well, <laughs> I've drank a lot. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, I, I, I haven't, that's my first drink today. So, so I'm going to get the screwdriver out because for some reason this, I don't know why they use this. <laughs> is, it a, is it a reason that to... Um, yeah, just, to just to annoy you, so... It annoys me. Um, <laughs> that's, that's why I sent them to you. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. oh, there you go, didn't it? Yeah. That, it was the Ninkazi one that did me. I'm like, geez. Right. Yeah, well, evening, that's... Them. Yeah. Oh, and you need, Thomas, to try, oh, you need to try that again. So anyway. <laughs> Ninkazi. Yeah. yeah. You do it for a better bottle. In a, in a Kazi, probably. But, but yeah. I hit the cars in the next morning. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Smoked out the beer from the night before. <laughs> yeah. So, in a lovely looking glass, I've got to say, beautiful looking glass. And mm. um, banging. A pen knife. I, need a, I do need a pen knife, you're right. That's a, that's, a, that's a banging glass. So, yeah, lovely looking glass. I tell you what, the, the glass at Brewdog the other day was amazing. Wow. I must get me that glass. Um, neon black ball, nice tan head. Looks like tar. <laughs> oh, boozy, massive boozy aroma on this. 13.9%. I know I'm going to feel the ABV. The ABV. Oh, let me probably just plug my phone back in because um, God, it's steaming. Once, once you've um, once you've described your beer, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll join you and describe what I'm drinking. So. Yeah, fair play. So, Boozy, you do get a hint of sherry on this. I I, I have drank a bit of sherry in my time, mainly in trifles because I, I do like a bit of sherry trifle. To be fair, bit of an eyeful. Oh. Bloody hell, that hits you. The ABV really hits you. So, mm. what are you drinking? I'm drinking a beer from Piala as well. Uh -huh. So this is from their Stella series. Let me just get this in focus because it's it's pretty. 
There we go. So there you go. This is their cellular series as well. And this is their armchair detective. Ooh, wow. um, it's an Imperial Baltic Porter. 12% ABV. And this was very kindly sent to me by another good friend um, that we all know, Dean's Beer Reviews, sent me this about two weeks ago. Um, I've just done a review of it. So I thought this would be a good time to crack this while, while you're doing this. Yeah. So we've got, we got, we got two of the Cellar Series beers at the same time. So, so, so oh. what, I'll, what I'll do, I'll change the description of this review. After the review, I'll change oh. the description of the review yeah. to, to match. Yeah, yeah. So it's a no. Kahala double review. Yeah, basically. What, so, yeah. And the awesome thing is, you know, for me, massive thanks to you. But for you, big thanks to Dean as well. Yeah, and I just thought, you know, I thought, I thought it'd chime in quite nicely with, with what you're doing. It makes it's, yeah. it's relevant, you know. So it is. It's it's uh, it strikes a chord. Yeah. Only 12, really, someone's put only twelve put only twelve percent that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, yeah, I just. It's not quite, you know, it's a session beer, I guess, compared to <laughs> yeah, yeah. what, what yeah. Raggy's drinking. But, but, but yeah, but no, I mean, it's nice. We've both been sent these beers, so that's kind of nice, isn't it? So, To me, it shows the kindness of the beer review community, you know. Um, yeah. Only in the last, well, for me, the last six months, seven months maybe, that I, I've seen the, what kindness is. And people who really don't know you in a personal sense, not until they meet you and then you discover who they are, yeah. sending you beers. And it's like, wow, this is, this is, you know, it's um, humbling. It's, it's amazing, you know. And obviously at some stage, um, and Brett's just uh, putting this beer is up my street, definitely. Both beers are made to both beers. They're just... They're just um... Uh, uh, there's a little bit more information about it. I'll just go in while I'm on it. Um, this is a gentle smoked multi-grain imperial Baltic pour aged, uh, sorry, uh, aged in a blend of, I don't know what X, uh, XO means, so uh, cognac barrels. Yes, XO is cognac, yes. Yeah, so I didn't know, I'd, I was like, uh, I know cognac barrels, but I don't know. Whatever, but, but yeah, it's... Um, it's interesting beer. So, so our good friends, the Hop House, are in. Evening, Raggy and Kent, and evening to you, matey. And Cheers the coming well. beer from yeah, Nottingham, um, who's actually in Newcastle. For, thanks for having me on, Raggy. I really appreciate it. So, oh, anyway, God. Much up. always. And uh, coming beer is in Newcastle at his campfire. And uh, hope the fire's going well, mate. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. It's good to get away. It is good to get away. And doing good, although slightly intoxicated. But uh, yeah, and I'm doing a 13.9 percenter. Craig's doing a 12 percenter. Jobs are good. Isn't it? it is. And if I could, I would change the description on the beer review, but I can't at the moment. I will do it straight afterwards. I will do. No worries. Oh. So, good evening, Steve. The booziness, you know, there's something about these imperial staffs. They really are amazing, aren't they? They're, um, they're worth I, it. They're, they're a great treat beer, as you've said before. And um, it's not something I want to drink every day, even if I could no. afford it. I want to keep no. them on that kind of level where special, it's, a treat, it's special. You appreciate it, and um, it's like any style of beer. You drink so much of them all the time. It becomes boring, and even even something as special as this would become boring if you drink them all the time. Yeah, um, I, I agree. It's all about mixing and matching. As all beer reviewers and, and people like everybody who's watching, we're all fans of the beer. You don't want to be drinking the same stuff day in day out. You need uh, you need variation uh, on the beers. Yeah. So, what flavors are coming through, Raggy? Um, at the moment, a massive boozy hit is hitting me. I'm getting a touch of sherry coming through. 
I suppose I better drink some to actually know what I'm, what I'm drinking. Um, <laughs> God, it's it's Moorish. It's very very Moorish. Thirteen point nine percent. It really hits home. A lot more to this than meets the eye. It's probably not a good thing that I've already had five or six beers because it's um, it takes away from your in, your ability to pick out properly. You're steaming. Be, You're steaming. Not steaming, but I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you getting from your from yours? Out of curiosity. Well, mine is like you're saying booze. It's boozy. I'm getting a bit of like smoked malt. I actually mentioned that in in the actual beer as well, which is. Um, but you are picking up to a degree, but it's not. It's a bit boozy. Lots of roasted kind of malt going in there. Um, I'm not too up with um, cognac to be honest. So I, I, I'm not probably the best um, person to actually describe what I'm getting from a cognac barrel. If that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah. But but you are picking up that 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 kind of um, general vibe of a of a of a cognac cognac barrel. Um, but I, I, mean, I, 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 I'd like, I I want I want to try these kind of beers independently. Uh, you know, an imperial stout in in their barrels, cognac, whatever it is. Um, but I'm not I'm not I'm not a um, spirit kind of guy. Um, in regards, obviously, uh, the drink, not 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 the uh, spiritual form, but um, I'm no medium. I'm definitely an extra large, but um, but yeah, you know what we're getting at. But um, it's definitely boozy. That's all I can say so far. Yeah, it's like all of these. I mean, let's be fair. The the ABV really kicks in, and. It, it gets to a point, um, especially obviously when you've had a drink, and uh, uh, when you've had six, you know, it's very, very difficult to pick out I've, every single flavour. I've had, oh, how many have I had tonight? Let me just have a look. Uh, I don't know. I've actually proper lost track. I reckon it's about six or seven. So, whatever. I mean, for me, this bloody, it's got some lovely complex flavours in it. You know, it's not just boozy. Obviously, 14, 13.9% is going to be boozy. Yeah. Good evening, Rod. And how are you, matey? So cheers, you. I can just add that to the screen. If I click on that, and I'm still it. learning. There you go. Hey! I'm still the, the learning, comment, you know. It's, the it's a learning are going. process. It's not easy going, on your phone. Yeah, the comments are going nuts. I'm like, luckily, a lot of people are talking to themselves, which is great. Which is know. great. I'm, I, I am looking at them. I'm thinking, you know, it's all cool beans. So it's really nice. Thanks for having me on again. I appreciate it. It's good. Oh, I mean, let's be fair. Of, of the people on the community that mean a lot, a lot to me, the people at the forefront of the community, obviously, you, Adam, Greg and harry dean you know scott and uh, you know there's there's other people obviously out there but they were the first people to join me into the community and you know going forward you know in the years to come uh, it'll be very interesting to see where where the beer review community and we, we all go on our own personal uh, adventures in beers because obviously none not one of us is, is the same we all get different tastes aromas from beers none of us like the same beer thank god because we all like the same bit before and That's drinking good. a beer on a certain day makes the beer you know it makes it doesn't it i, 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 got drink that. I ain't got none in mine oh there's a, there's a dribble but bastard but yeah um if i, I was hoping there was like half a bottle in there I was like nah. And I do you think want, drinking out the right glass helps. 
this is a brew dog glass, unfortunately, but um, it's one of them nice shaped glasses. Um, it looks better. I mean, if you chuck if you chuck this into a standard pint glass, it look crap. It just well, looked like Guinness. I, I, it's more for the aromas. That's what I'm kind of when I done, I done the review earlier, just before I come on, and uh, when you was halfway through your last one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just you got to give it the, the proper decent glass treatment just to yeah draw them it reminds me of like um for, for my for my beer at least um all, all right you've got that kind of um smoked kind of um smoke type roasted malt but then you're also getting a like um a, like a brisket um barbecue meat kind of quality smoked it's got that kind of edge to it Almost reminds me of like um, the bolognese of a, sp a spaghetti bolognese. It's got that kind of meaty substance kind of feel to it. Yeah, it's just oh, and then together that cognac, it's like oh, it's in your face. It's it's really nice. It's, it's yeah, this this is what I like. I, I like to see somebody, and when I look at other beer reviews, I like to see them digest the beer and really go and maybe you know maybe we all don't get the same flavors and aromas and all that you know and the taste but you know what i like is people who are passionate just passionate passionate about the beers about <laughs> what you're drinking and hopefully not too pissed up when you're doing it as well, <clears throat> well, just yeah, well, well, well sometimes that happens but it, it is what it is i think people understand that who watch I mean, for me, for me, and I'm sure for those in, for everybody in the background watching, when you get something as as quality as this, and I know it's a bang the elephant glass, but the glass is bloody amazing. It's uh, banging. That's why I bought it. Yeah, it's banging. banging. <laughs> when they brought it out on the website straight away, I said, "That's a banging glass." That's and a banging I'm not glass. sure they. <laughs> I'm not sure they got the reference, but I was trying. Yeah. I was trying to be funny, and uh, yeah. at the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. there you yeah. go. It cost it cost me seven quid for the glass, so I'm very, very careful with this glass. You know, most oh, yeah. oh bastard. Yeah, yeah, don't fucking drop it. That'd be smashing, oh, smashing the banging. Spilt yeah. some on the floor. Now, now I'm pissed off. Yeah, well, there you go. You have to have another beer now, aren't you? So, oh, fuck me. Luckily, it was only a dribble. <laughs> you don't get this on other beer reviews, do you? No. <laughs> no. Okay, now I'm absolutely gutted. Now I'm going to lick that floor in a minute. Fuck it. Yeah, where's the dog? Oh, don't want him licking the floor. He's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's staggered as it is. He's 14 <laughs> years old. He might walk straight if he drinks that. Oh, bless him. <laughs> um, <Sorry. laughs> oh, dear. But, uh, right, I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to close my eyes and see what I get from it. Right. Why is the local brewery called Bang the Elephant? They did post that last night, to be fair. Rampant Lime Beer Reviews. Good evening, James. How are you, matey? And uh, welcome to a, a rather abbreviated raggy and a less abbreviated crave. Um, yeah, the dog, the dog will really. be busy. Hey, up here's the dog. The dog's... I've, <laughs> had... I've, I've had a few, so I'm, I'm just trying to... Bisteader. Yeah, what's this? Not what's Look at that. Oh, he's, oh, he's turned his nose up at it. Hey, how bad's that? Shocking. Yeah, bad dog. Yeah. <laughs> no treats for you tonight. Yeah. When, oh, you take, when you take this in your mouth and you take a swallow, and I'm sure if you do the same, close your eyes and swallow and you know the, the taste there's so much in there and i might be taking the paper now sorry i'm just yeah just me don't worry about me yeah. bang the elephant means um he did say it last night and it was something to do with being <laughs> to, to doing it's not the thing about you know shagging anything or about that it's so about just, uh, do, yeah doing as best as you can yeah yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah. It does sound yeah. wrong, Bolton. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> I do yeah. agree, yeah. There's a slight wrongness to it, yeah, banging some elephants, yeah. Well, it sounds like what, it it sounds like what do on a Saturday night in town. <clears throat> I, I mean, I don't, but, but, but yeah. If you're being rude and wrong, obviously. But, um, yeah. You do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, yeah, um, there's no ladies commenting at the moment. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, they've all left. Yeah, yeah, they've all left. That that comment just got rid of them all. I do apologise, everyone. Yes, um, it was not meant in in any discourse, but anyway. Yeah, what a beauty of a beer! And I'm so gutted that I dropped a little bit on the floor because I'm pissed off about that. And the floor is already needs a good clean as it is. I dropped. Well, I've got own brew on the floor, so that don't help. Oh, the sherry, the booziness, the fruitiness from it. Raisins. Do you know the complexities in these beers are just beyond. Um, I do find this with, um, I'm not reading the comments. I do find this with uh, a lot of these Imperial Stouts, that the ones with the barrel aged ones from sherry, from cognac, there's a lot more there that you can even pick out, and uh, you would need you would need a lot more than one glass um, or one bottle rather to pick out everything. You know, you you would need to do a, a you know two or three to pick out every single flavour, or take a, quite a bit of time. It's a great sip. The, these beers are great sipping beers. Yeah. They're not something you should be rushed with or No. Because no. you've got you've got red card constraints or anything like that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, not very long. Uh, should be no, soon. No, but seriously, they, they they are sit back, relax and enjoy beers. They are treat beers. They are awesome. They're expensive. But then you could take an hour, hour and a half to drink one of these beers and really enjoy it and take it in. And yeah, it's one of them, you know. Um, it's like a fine wine in some ways, but you know, when when you yeah. as a wine drinker myself, you know, I love a Barola or an Amarone, you know, Italian fine wines, and I I, pre I appreciate the, the best the best wines and also the best beers are those are the ones where you take your time you let the air get to the beer you don't crack it open pour it in and neck it no because when the air gets to the beer it develops the complexities come out it it breathes like a good wine does it breathes when you when you get a decent wine i'm not talking blossom hill or echo falls i'm talking decent <laughs> wines when when yeah. you let the air get to that wine, same with the decent beers, it breathes, you get more complexities, the taste changes. It changes from the minute you, you, you start to drink it to the last minute when you, you know, when you sip that last bit. And also the aroma change. Mm. And one does apologise for sound piss. I am, but there you are. Mm. You sound, you sound normal. There <laughs> 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 yeah. we go. There we go. Oh no, it didn't work. But fast is the best wine. Hey. There you go. I so we've only had one book. Only, we, I've only had one book. We are on different beers, so yeah. There you go. But we've got to say, the Harla Brewery. Yeah. An amazing brewery. So I'm, on, I'm on that one. I'm Chair Detective. Different from Raggies. So, that's the so back I'm on the... Uh, oh, there you go. I can't get the camera. Yeah, right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Barrel Age, drop it. Yeah. They're both, they're both um, on the uh, Cellar Series. So. Yeah. 
both back stops, all that shit. And to a fellow Nottingham person, <coughs> good evening, mate. You are exactly right. The longer you leave a beer, and this is why Mr. Rampant Lion Beer Reviews is, is a top quality beer reviewer. When he does a beer review, it's, it's normally 30 minutes long. Yes, it's a long beer review. Yes, he will talk over the history. He will talk over a lot of stuff and go into detail that maybe a lot of us don't do. I certainly don't do. I talk about myself and boring, but boring stuff like that. But in that time, the beer gets to breathe. And in that time, it, the experience changes. And it's so, it's very interesting that when the experience changes. Yes, I know a lot of people want five minute reviews. You know, a lot of YouTube viewers want the short reviews. But the, the thing is, the short reviews, probably for the for the majority yeah yeah you know for them who are just going to neck it that's okay for the beer connoisseurs they want the longer reviews uh the longer reviews where the beer gets the gets the air to it and develops trust me beer changes the longer you leave it to breathe yeah like a wine especially the stronger stuff especially the more complex stuff you know i mean i don't suppose a uh, carling lager after 15 minutes for taste any difference after three minutes but you know when it's when it's 30 minutes or 20 to 25 minutes that sort of thing you know it's going to taste different it's going to taste you know and i've had many beers where they're different over you know the hearts oh you know from the first half to the second half where they've changed it's like wow why has it changed air has got to the beer made it different yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I like um, port wine. I, I, I yeah. love port with, with um, not so much in the UK, but but certainly when I've been to Portugal, like half a dozen to eight times, um, I had a few ports over the years when I've been in Madeira or stuff like that. Um, <laughs> back in. Uh, different times um but I, I still got a love for that it's really complex and there's a lot of these kind of beers that you, you they're, they're very similar to, to that that, that mm. kind of fortified wine if you like um and um it's nice to import incorporate that into a like an imperial stout i i love the crossover between imperial stout to port um to the point where when I try a port, it's it, it, it's it, it's on my oh, although that's an elevated level if that makes sense. Um, really, kind of like oh, like the complexities are on another level. It's like wow, you know, um, it's a great stepping stone, I'd say, to to port wine. These imperial stouts that we that we're very blessed to try these days. But, um, I've yeah. got to do a quick two-second toilet break. I'll be back. He's on. I'll, 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 I'll hold the fault. Jesus Christ. Um, so he's left that comment on the, on the screen. We've only had one more comment since then, so um, hopefully no one leaves. Um, so rampant line, my good friend James, is saying, uh, thanks for the kind words, Raggy. Agree with you on the need to open up. Uh, my head is full of rubbish, uh, though, so that's why, yeah. Um, and it, whoever it is who helps anyone, in, you know, um, is a good thing. And you know, um, we've just had another free comment since, since he's, he's, he's buggered off to uh, have a piss in his garden. Um, but anyway, there you go. I'll let you carry on. I've, I've read uh, James's one and then you've got like four more since. So. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, looking at other beer reviewers, you know, I have massive respect for the likes of Dean, you, uh, Rampant Line, obviously. Um, no, he's he, he does, he, he does his history of beer. Oh, his, his knowledge is uh, beyond. 
anyone yeah. I know in within this I mean, and that, community. I know it's amazing. Scottish and uh, the English and Scottish don't get on. Well, I just I take the piss, but he, he knows I'm taking the piss. So I've no, I've yeah. met him once, and it feels like I've met him many more times. He's I've known him for. I feel like I've known him for more longer than I've actually, you know, met him for the first. It's like anyone on YouTube, you, you just know you. And there is everyone I've met off YouTube is exactly the same as they are on 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 camera, which is. Just, I mean, that's all you want, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, for anybody who meets me in real life, I want them to know that the person you see is the exact same oh. person. I know you. Uh, unless you, I, you know, I can tell. unless you catch, you know, unless you catch me, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and I, I and I'm I'm stunned. But the person you see is the person you get, and that's the person. That's that's how we, we should all be, you know. Um, yeah. You yeah, you yeah. are what you are, you know. Yeah. Your true personality coming through is what it should be. I, well, I, I, you know, I hope to. I, I think I'm the same person. The people about me, so hope so. Anyway, if I go, anyway, sorry for any, <laughs> sorry for any ladies watching. So I'm joking, but um, but yeah, uh, no, I am. That, that's it. But it's really nice to have a good chat as well. It's uh, it is. Yeah. We'll have to do over, some more over, over over an imperial style. It's like yeah. Oh, bless you. So uh, James is asking. Good on you, mate. Um, have we had any Grappa BA beers? Me, no. No, not seen any of them over here. To be fair, I mean, I may have missed them, of course, on on the online sites, but doesn't ring a bell. So back to the beer. Whoa. Really feeling this now. The wife's coming home in any any time soon, so bollockins are coming. And, uh, yeah, she fine. did say to me earlier, oh, well, you know that work tomorrow? Drink what you like. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> get in. Yeah. Well, that's, the, that, that, that's not a red card then in my book. <laughs> no, nah, not in my book either. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. What was that, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> we all talk rubbish. You know, that's oh, part God. of the thing about about doing beer reviews. If you don't talk a bit of rubbish, then if, you know. If we you watch, do it. yeah. If you watch beer reviews, then Jesus, you know we talk shit. I do. I ramble on and I give flavour notes, and but it's. I think sometimes it gets to a point where it's a nervous kind of energy. You just. I don't know. I've Is it a buyer for us? For us stout girls. So, to everybody in the chat, Ali Hawkins is a big female stout drinker. And, you know, that's cool. in, the, in, the, in the industry that we've got, I know there's been some bad press about women being treated badly. Yeah. And there are yeah. in person yeah. with mental health issues. I don't like that shit either. Oh, but, I, I don't either. I just can't. Yeah. No. We treat everybody as we treat ourselves and as we want to be treated. And, I'll, I'll get uh, with everyone. I'll try and get with everyone. That's my motto. Yeah. So. There's always somebody you're not going to get on with, but that's by the by. And this is, this is a, I mean, I didn't realise she was a female the first time she was talking. Obviously, Ali doesn't give the game away. You know, when I, when I see just the name without the icon. And, uh, yeah. That's cool. And so, she, I think the first time she, you commented on our, my channel, it was that like you was doing a 14 Imperial Stouts. And it's like, shit, 14 or something daft like that anyway. There's a lot of Imperial Stouts. And it's like, wow, yeah, this is like respect, respect territory. Because as we all know, Imperial Stouts are not um, low ABV. So to do 13 or 14 of them, shit, that's good going, you know. That's good. That's, um, that's good. It's not easy to drink. Good evening, Miss Super Fat. That's the word. 
I'll let you. Uh, it's nice being on someone else's stream. I don't have to worry about the comments. It's kind of, I'm reading them, but it's like, yeah. You see, for me, I, for me, I have a, I have a really OCD about comments. So, it's like when me yeah. and Greg were doing the beer review the other week. I was, I was keeping yeah, yeah. up with the comments, crying. He, I know he could see the comments like you can, and we could both see what was happening. And you know, keeping up with them, and that's something that for, for me, Streamyard is a little slow at. So um, it's nice to keep up with the comments, the interaction. Interaction is key for me, and um, most interaction anyway. Obviously, you know, if there's any if there's any banter, obviously keep that off the screen. But uh, yeah, it's all good. I'm all for the banter. So, I'm all for the banter. I mean, let's be fair. All of us, men, women. Yeah, and everyone, every one of us out there, you know, there's got to be banter in this world. Oh, now. God. I, banter, I, I, I banter all the time, man. It's just, yeah. But obviously, we all know when we've gone too far. Someone says to us, I didn't, I, I didn't like that comment. Okay, you stop. You didn't mean it, and then you move on. They appreciate what you've done. You've said something, and then you move on. And, no. you know, that's the fairest way of moving on from any band. I mean, I've, I've, I've overstepped the mark a few times and I've openly admitted it. It's, um, perhaps it was just a wrong timing thing for, for someone else. So I give banter to, um, it's never meant in any way. It's just, um, you get a few beers involved. You, you get a bit typey happy and, Sometimes people take it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, I've apologised for that in the past, and it's never meant in any way. I'm not, sometimes I'm not probably sure about where, how far I've gone with it. I, I don't realise. I, I, I try and I try and keep it to the point where I, I you know, especially in the last for me bit of time, um, I, I've really. Um, kind of let loose a bit and just gone with it and had a bit of fun and banter's gone a bit too far potentially and stuff and but it's not meant in any way it's just i've just probably gone a little bit more extreme um my outlook's probably changed and it's probably tweaked it a little bit and gone a bit too strong um but it, but it is what it is i mean to be fair I've, been, I, I've never I've never seen you comment on your lives where you've been out of order. So, you know, you've got nothing to worry about in, in, from what I've seen. So, I mean, I know you did call out the beer influencers, influencers on Instagram the other week for supporting locals, what you've done all the way along and what I've done all the way along. And, um, you know, there's, yeah. there's people out there that, you know, because all of a sudden they're super famous and, um, you know, yeah. calling them out, then, you know, I, I sometimes think that's a good thing because um, the local breweries are the ones that have suffered the most and in a lot of occasions during the last year. So so the the, the true people have supported their local breweries, and I'm sure for, the, for, for people local, for everybody watching who supported local, you'll know where we mean. You know, you've supported, the you know, the decent stuff and you've supported local breweries as well. You know, you can understand where we're coming from. Um, and you're quite right. You know, everyone's got an opinion. You're allowed to say your opinion. Um, the only thing you've got to watch out is how you say it these days. It does seem I, that uh, yeah, you've got to yeah. be careful. I mean, I'm not I'm, fond of I'm, certain I'm, political agendas in the last year. I have called them out because... I, I yeah. come from a poor, poor background, and yeah, uh, I, I I try and keep out of the political side of beers. It's very difficult, though. It's so difficult, and yeah. it's not even just in within the beer political scene. It's within general, especially this in day and age. Um, it's so hard. I, I try and desperately to keep out of that um, as much as I can. Um. Even to the point where things have, you know, we, you know, we've 
with what's going on recently. I, I, I really do try to, to keep out of that. Um, there was a point I was getting to, but it's gone now. So, so she the level of this uh, beer I'm drinking, I guess. So, um, You've just been recognised there. There you go. Ali's just posted something there. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I. I. I don't think I've. John Lillet is an awesome guy as well. Um, I don't. I don't generally because I, I think John and Lillet is in over in Boston this weekend with a load of guys. Um, I think Drunken One and all that sort of crowd um, going over craft beer pours and keep sipping and um, Alex the Beer Master and all that sort of. I think uh, there's another one as well. I can't think of his name. Um, yeah, but they're all they're all over there this weekend, and I think they're having a barbecue um, this afternoon. So, uh, but yeah, so cheers for that. Yeah, no, that John Lillet's a great dude. Yeah, it's awesome picking out these comments. It's, it's something quite funny about YouTube um, about Streamyard. Just clicking on random comments, it's uh, it's quite yeah. funny for me. So, um, and obviously James is a pure piss taker. If, for those people in the in the chat who don't know Rampant Lion Beer Reviews, he's, he's a, um, a reviewer with 9,000 subscribers plus, and uh, he, he does a, an in-depth analysis of the beers. He, he does beer reviews, you know, and you've got to say, and being honest in myself, he does beer reviews. It's... it's his knowledge of breweries is outstanding, you know. You know. Yeah, he's, he, and he's, a, he's an awesome dude as well. He is. And he's from Scotland as well. Let's see how tight he is when we have a beer there's always a, down, there's always a down part, but I'm joking. But, but no, he's, he's, <laughs> proper, he's, he's proper awesome. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm half, he, my, he half, is, my, yeah. half my half my family's Scottish anyway, so. Yeah. And he's got lovely long hair. That gives me half an excuse. <laughs> so that, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, nah, he's, he's he's awesome, man. I've met him once, and he's just a proper dude. Yeah. And uh, good evening, Mr. Paul Bears with you. How are you, matey? Cheers, Paul. <laughs> nice, nice, nice to uh, nice to see you on it. Cool beans. That's cool. That's really and, cool. Uh, it's been a nice weekend, matey. You know, it's been a lovely, warm weekend. And by God, do we need the warm? You know, it's been a crap cold winter. A crap old spring bar a couple of days and uh we're, we we do need some decent you know um warm day anyway better get on with the beer the wife's coming soon bollocking's coming i'm bound to get a bollocking you know i can't be the only bloke in the house or anybody with a partner who's had one too many beers or maybe two and uh, is going to get a bollocking you know, come on i can't be the only one Anyway, he's the only one. I am the only one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you're down this bear room and I get you on these Imperials that I've got brewing. Oh, bless you. Well, <laughs> You'll be steaming. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure I will, but... It'll be a good beer with you together. On your channel. Yeah, that was a good one. On my channel? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's got to be on your channel. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll separate it, yeah, if you like. <laughs> Odds on for the first raggy black card. Blimey. Don't say that, mate. A black card's um, sleeping downstairs, banned. Yeah. We don't want <laughs> one of them. Yeah, I've had a fair few red cards. Sleeping on your own is, is that. Really? That, that's, that's a result? What I remember. Well, to be uh, fair, when I did the world's strongest beer, <laughs> Snake Mice and Bennett, I was yeah. fucking steaming. And I do apologise for the French, everyone in the background. Yeah, those French people, they swear a lot. And uh, yeah, I was steaming. Went up the house, got on the settee, the wife left me. Four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I'm like... Oh, she left you? She, she, come, she come back then? No, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Oh, 
yeah. When is the old Tom challenge? When yeah. I hit eighteen, when I hit eighteen hundred subscribers, I'm doing an old Tom challenge, and this is a community thing, not just a raggy thing. So for everybody who wants to take part, everybody who's part of the community, be it beer reviewers or everybody in you know friends of the channel, we'll call them friends. I hate the word subscribers; it pisses me off. We'll all do the 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 ten old Tom challenge together, and I will flick. I will have my computer on and we'll flip between everyone. Good to hear, Grumpy Beard. Yeah, the more of us that do it, obviously, if you can't do it, then don't. You know, if you can't handle the beer, then don't. You know, it's never a thing to say, drink too much. It's a challenge. You know, if you can do it, I may fall at the seventh beer. I may. I may not make it to ten. There are others who probably will. But, you know, it's not about drinking too much. We must always remember that. You know, I don't want anybody to go overboard. You know. Although, I'm going to try and be best, obviously. Because, yeah, I've you've drunk, got to try and I've, I've drunk mine, so. Yeah. Mine's good. Boozy, oh. sherry. All the, fucking, all the booze. My own. Oh, anyway, sorry. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful beer. How many Toms make up 105.9%? I ain't got a clue. Oh, for fuck's sake, I know what he's getting at. Is that there. 13? I, I haven't got a clue. Oh, I can tell you that. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you need to come on, James. You know, you need to come on. I just, I need to see you on. <laughs> it's got to be done. <laughs> yeah, I just, just not, not, not. I, I, if you know, you know. It's one of them deals. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be fair. If if you can do two old Toms and you've had enough fair play, you know, that's how it should be. You know, no challenge should be the stage where someone's going getting ill. You know, once you know you've breached We've all got a boundary. You once you breach your boundary, that's it. You walk off. Jobs are good and fair play, and move on. Yeah, you don't get to the stage where you can't see. I mean, I watched um, Scott on the old the 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 ten do bell challenge. I watched Scott, and he was steaming the poor lad. And I watched Pierre Rudy, it? Sorry. and he was as sober as a judge. And then I watched Simon, and he'd only drank seven, and he was steaming. So, you know, um, this was an amazing beer tonight. I've really enjoyed this beer to be fair. And it's, it's great to see everybody in the chat. You know, I love the fact that as, as fans of beer, which we all are, you know, above anything else, we are fans of beer. And we're all fans of the beer review community, and um, it's been it's been awesome. So for me, oh, I don't know what Craig's going to score is as. Good evening, Thomas, and uh, thank you for joining, mate. Uh, can't wait to do the live interview with you. God knows what you're going to ask, but I'm up for the I'm up for the answers. You may be surprised, but with answers, you know, there may be some complex answers. Because obviously, cool. I've lived flat, slightly the complex life. Um, <laughs> so, for this review, this is a barrel aged, uh, a Pedro Zimenez. Oh, there's a bit left in, I'm having that. Uh, a Pedro Zimenez <laughs> Sherry barrel aged Imperial Stout. There's fuck all left in mine. I made oh. sure of that shit. There's, there's nothing. Fun. I, I've tried to pour it again. It's not happening. I know you, you've got to get the bit, you've got to get the bits out of the bottom, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. There's fuck all mine. Strange brew. Is that a different name or is that tar? the normal tar? Different. Um, out of five for me. Um, this was very complex, uh, boozy, sherry. There wasn't a banana or anything like that. It was, it was, it was very much the sherry. There was a high end of fruitiness in there. There was complexities you don't get in a lot of beers. I've got to be honest. You know, 
the stronger you get. You know, it's not easy. It's not a flavoured beer. It's a complex beer. Um, Pedro Jimenez, Spanish Chevy, out of five. Ooh. I've got to give it a good 4.68 out of five. Do scores mean anything in the grand scheme of things? No. Um, would I drink it again? A hell yes. Yeah, definitely. If I could afford it, obviously. Yeah. Massive thanks to this fellow on the right and uh, for, for gifting it to me. You know, it was a very unbelievable thing to do. You know, my admiration for him, I have, I have, I have very good feelings about him in a non gay way, obviously. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm I didn't no. get that one out there. Just, just go <laughs> back. And I know Thomas. I know Thomas didn't hear, so it's all right. And uh, and he'd appreciate he'd appreciate the laugh of, of that, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a very good beer. A good four point seven for me out of five. Very much. So. And wow. now to the, to Craig himself. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I stopped reviewing. Oh, I, I still review, but I don't like. Um, I stopped re giving a score on beers. Yeah. Um, I can't remember when it was. Um, well, it's probably getting on for nearly a year ago, roughly. I perhaps perhaps a little bit less, maybe ten months a year ago. Um, but I mean, where 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 do I put where do I put this one then? So this is. The, the Piala um, Seller Series. Um, this is their armchair detective, the Imperial Baltic Pour. Um, is it ABV? I can't remember. 12%. Um, so this was aged in, um, as I've already said before, uh, cognac barrels. Um, I've had one or two of these these kind of like um, Seller Series beers before. I, that, I can't remember what it was. I, I a collab with uh, these guys and uh, Jester King. I can't remember what it was, so excuse me. Um, but anyway, back to this beer. This is a very kind of um, it's a Moorish beer, but of a very kind of big ABV level. Um, and uh, and and the flavours are still on the palate. I've I've actually I'm not looking at the comments, but 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 yeah. But, um, I know you're laughing so this is a very good beer definitely one i'll try again um if i was giving it a score um not like i do scores um uh, generally these days it'd probably be with a range of like a 4.3 um out of five yeah. which um for me is a very good score um i i, I generally don't give too many scores between the four and the 4.5 generally i like to give myself a lot of headroom in within that kind of scoring capacity especially with, i i mean all my scores are untapped um but i don't do them on a video beer review um this is a, definitely a, a, a 4.3 wonderful beer awesome stuff um i'd love to try this on draft yeah. highly unlikely um unless you go to the brewery all that sort of shit um but yeah overall wonderful stuff and thank you for dean from dean's beer reviews for sending me this beer and and this is and this is the thing you know um i'll take it i was i was doing some strange faces there in the yeah I, I, I was i was i was, I was, I was, in my I was you, no 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 i i i could see some comments i'm like oh, I mean, you know it's like when you, you when you get in your zone it's like yeah yeah but yeah and this is where you know, as, as as people who are beer reviewers and people who aren't beer reviewers, you know, um, scores. You know, this is this is the interesting thing about scores. What Craig's reviewed on me would have been a four point six. What Craig's review is was a four point three. So the the ad adaptation of that is that we were all very different on our our beer review scores. And uh, yeah. so so when you listen to a, a review. It's much what what the person gets out of the beer, what that you know. For me, when I look at a beer review, if I'm looking at, and I'll pick out Dean, but for the for the main thing, because I watch someone like Dean, and I see his beer reviews, and I know two seconds into the beer, 
I know that he's liked it. I know this is the box ticking beer because his eyes widen up, his smile beams straight away. I know that this is some decent beer. And I look at other beer reviewers and I see in their faces, I don't listen to what they're saying. I don't care for what they're saying. I don't care for, for the drama. There are drop there are, there are people out there who post drama. But I look at the reaction in the face, in the eyes and in the smile. That's where I look. And when I see what they're doing in their face and their smile, and people who watch me on this channel will know. Before I've even said anything, they'll say, you don't like that, do you? And they know before I even I fucking say anything that they know it's a it's a beer that I'm not overly fond of. Not at that minute in time, that straight away, exactly. And for that reason, it's it's amazing to watch people's reactions to the beer. Reactions, the fake, you know, what you see in your eyes and, and mouth come out before you see in, in what you're talking. And uh, <laughs> And That's cool. Rod, Rod has just posted there. There you go. Exactly, Absolutely. Rod. Totally agree with you, mate. You know, R Dean can't hold when he's when he's drinking a decent beer. Yeah. And for me, Dean, he is absolutely um, top class. You know, he's, not he's got a peg of, him, he's got he's got a poker face until it comes to beer. Then he's he's, he's sol after that. He's just. And he, and he's a top class normal bloke. He just says it. Oh, as I've been, I've, I've, yeah, I've been, I've been very fortunate to meet him a couple of times. He's just, and we had him on, on, on my stream earlier, and uh, as well as Rod and, and yourself. And yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty blessed with the people I know. So. Oh God, yeah, I'm very lucky. I'm, I mean, when I look at your 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 um, chats, beer chats. You know, a lot of people don't realise that the people you have on your chats are truly some of the icons of the world beer review community. We're not just, just talking England, UK, we're talking Europe, we're talking America. No, 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 and I look no, around right. at some of, these, some of these people and they're some no, right. true icons. That's a good, they're all right. They, 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 they review beers, they're all right. But, but more importantly, they're good mates. Yeah, good people. Right, I need to clock off because wife's coming home. Bollock in the if I ain't already got there a bollock go. in the waiting. Uh, thank you for joining the chat tonight. Thank you, everybody else, for joining the, the beer review tonight. It's been a, a long, yeah. uh, it's a long bit, nearly an hour. Jobs are good. Em. Sorry, um, sorry, it's my fault. So. And uh, cheers, everyone. Been a great beer review. Some amazing Pahala beers. I will change the um, the edit the title at the start of the beer review thank you everyone it's been a great one and uh, cheers mate cheers everyone always right. need a wait take care cheers guys uh, cheers. Uh.